Volcanology and the Long Valley Caldera. Brought to you by the National Science Foundation. and the Eastern Sierra Institute for Collaborative Education. As you drive between Mammoth Mountain and Crowley Lake, did you know that you're driving through the heart of a prehistoric supervolcano? The volcanic eruption that took place here was an explosion that dwarfed the one on Mount St. Helens in Washington by more than 2,000 times in power and size, leaving behind a 200 square mile crater called a caldera. When the Long Valley supervolcano erupted, it belched out billions of tons of superheated ash, gas, and rock several miles into the sky. Dave Wagner, a retired geologist from the California State Geological Survey, explains not all of the ash stayed close to home. There was ash that traveled as far east as Kansas, or it traveled as far north as Wyoming, as far south as covered nearly all of Arizona and New Mexico, and did cover all of uh, Utah, Colorado. A good place to see an example of this is to the southeast of Crowley Lake. Those salmon-colored bluffs, known as the Bishop Tuff, are cooled deposits of silica-rich ash lightweight pumice, and other volcanic debris. And although the Long Valley eruption took place hundreds of thousands of years ago, a reservoir of hot magma still lies below the caldera and continues to bubble with life as it heats the underground water feeding local hot springs. Near the Mammoth Lakes exit off Highway 395, rising steam marks a place where over a century ago Weary travelers marveled at the Casa Diablo geysers. Today, a modern geothermal plant harnesses the hot springs and converts the Earth's natural heat into clean, renewable electricity. Mammoth Mountain is the highest point on the rim of the caldera and one of the West's premier ski areas. Dr. David Hill, chief scientist in charge of the USGS Long Valley Observatory, points out it also happens to be a volcano. Mammoth Mountain is a volcano that was erupted between about 100,000 years and about 50,000 years ago. But it's along the same structural chain that runs from Mammoth Mountain all the way up to Mono Lake. And that chain, the Inyo Mono volcanic chain, is the chain that's erupted uh, 20 times in the last 5,000 years. The Long Valley Caldera is so enormous, it's hard to see from one spot. But the top of Mammoth Mountain offers an excellent view. USGS geologist Dina Vineski hopes you'll make time to explore it for yourself. It's really exciting to be able to ski or mountain bike on a volcano. If you take any of the chairlifts up to the top, you get amazing views of the Long Valley area, and you can see some of the volcanoes. You can see some of the craters and some of the domes. Fortunately, volcanic activity usually doesn't come unannounced. The area is continuously monitored with special instruments like seismometers and GPS satellites to detect any earthquakes that signal the movement of magma beneath the ground. As David Hill concludes, And it's kind of the legacy of the West. We live in this beautiful area. It's beautiful because of these active geologic processes. Uh, but they come with a hazard, and we need to know what that hazard is, understand the hazard, and be prepared to deal with it if it uh, should develop. For more information, visit our website at www.roadsideheritage.org, where you can download additional audio stories about the Eastern Sierra.